From giving a bird's eye view of a piece of land to delivering packages, the purpose of drones is expanding. And the possibilities of what these devices can do, it could be endless. In tonight's Eye on Kelo Land, Dan Santella takes you to South Dakota State University where students are exploring future uses of drones. SDSU senior Isaac Smithy leads the ATLAS project team at SDSU, which stands for Advanced Transportation Through Leading Aerial Systems Project. I am the principal investigator and student team lead, um, which essentially means that any and all con contact that we have with NASA, um, I am the person that does that conversation. Marco Charcha, an assistant professor of mechanical engineering at SDSU, is a project advisor. He is about developing a uh, heavy lifting capability drone and uh, we are envisioning the mission of this drone to serve as our aero taxi vehicle and uh, yeah so we are we're planning on using the drone as a human passenger transportation system. Our goal is to create a drone that's big enough to carry a person. That doesn't mean that it will carry a person just that it's big enough to do that. So this has all kinds of applications outside of person, personal transportation. Um, this could be used in construction, it could be used in other transportation. The drone you see here is called Hummingbird. It's a prototype for the Albatross, a 500 plus pound drone which would be able to lift 200 pounds. The students here applied for and received an $80,000 grant from NASA for the project. There's a lot of aspects where you need to move something that's really big that would take maybe four people for you to move, and you only have to move it, say, 15 feet. Um, so all you have to do is load up this drone, move it over, set it in place. Um, but that's a pretty far in the distance for us because we're mostly focused just on getting it off the ground. Um, once we get it off the ground, then we can start doing cool things with it. Like, say, transporting a person. The passenger will just select uh, uh, initial point, pick a destination, and the uh, and, uh, albatross will bring the passenger from A to B. We spent some time brainstorming, um, the, the four mechanical engineering students, um, and then we eventually landed on an air taxi system because that just sounds really cool. Um, we eventually um, realized that we needed more manpower on the project because this is a really big project. Um, so we brought on two business students to help us with our social media accounts and finances. Charcha says enthusiasm is the reason for this project. Passion. They're all excited about this project. Uh, they have uh, uh, lots of interest on the aerospace project of this type, so they, they picked it. It's crazy. Like, I never thought that we would attain, that we would get the NASA funding um, to begin with, and now we actually have the opportunity to work on this project. And get the Albatross ready to take flight. But every once in a while, I'll sit back and be like, wait a second, there are some students that are working on smaller projects and then there's us working on this. <laughs> as far as when you might see the Albatross itself, it might be soon. You can uh, see the Albatross assembled most likely in mid-April okay. for the Engineering Expo and uh, we are planning on uh, having maybe test flight uh, by mid-June. Like, this is a really great opportunity for everybody involved and I'm, I'm just really happy to be working with the group of people that I have. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Dan Sintel. That Hummingbird drone that you just saw, it weighs just five and a half pounds.